hours, minutes, and seconds are all units of time, meaning that they are specific lengths of time that can be used like other units of measurement, like feet or inches. The most common unit of time is a day. You should study the lesson on day before studying this lesson on hours, minutes, and seconds. If you divide the length of a day into 24 equal sections, the length of each section is one hour. So if you divide a day into 24 equal sections, the, the length of each section is one hour. And if you divide the length of one hour into 60 equal sections, the length of each section is one minute. So if this is one hour divided into 60 little equal sections, each section is equal to one minute. Similarly, if you divide the length of one minute into 60 equal sections, the length of each section represents one second. So one minute is equal to 60 seconds. And one hour is equal to 60 minutes. And one day is equal to 24 hours. And so you can see that a day is bigger than one hour, and an hour is bigger than one minute, and a minute is bigger than one second. In real life, many times you will have to convert seconds to minutes and minutes to hours. Let's look at some examples where you will learn to convert hours to minutes and seconds. So in our first example, we are asked how many minutes are in three hours? Well, we know that in one hour, there's 60 minutes. And so in, in order to find out how many hours or how many minutes there are in three hours, we need to multiply three times 60. So we get three times 60 equals 180 and our units are in minutes. So there are 180 minutes in three hours. Our second example asks us how many hours are in two days? Well, we know that one day is 24 hours. So in one day, if we have 24 hours, we need to multiply that 24 times two in order to find out how many hours we have in two days. So we do two times 24 to give us 48 hours. There are 24 hours in one day and 48 hours in two days. Our third question here asks us how many hours are in a week? Well, we know that one week equals seven days. And so we also know that in one day we have 24 hours. So in order to find out how many hours are in seven days, we need to multiply 24 times seven or seven times 24. And we get an answer of 168 hours in one week, which is seven days. Seven times 24 equals 168 hours. So you'll need lots of practice converting different times from hours to minutes and minutes to seconds and and hours to weeks and minutes. All of our conversions of time take lots of practice, but if you practice and work really hard, you'll get really good at them.